A site of Jewish longing for generations, the Western Wall is one of four walls that support the enormous stone platform where 2,000 years ago, King Herod the Great rebuilt the temple on a scale comparable to the Great Pyramids of Egypt. When Herod rebuilt the temple, he surrounded the platform on which it stood with a massive wall. We're now rounding the southwest corner of this wall. And as we come around, I want you to look at the giant stones that are built into the wall. In fact, think about this. How did they get these huge stones into position without the kind of modern machinery that we have today? Using written records and the latest archaeological findings, we can imagine what the second temple might have looked like at the height of its splendor. Long after the second temple was destroyed by the Roman army, Jews mourn its loss at the wall that once stood closest to it, the Western Wall. Years ago, my family came from Greece and Italy to see the Holy Land, and they stayed. My mother's family settled here in Bethlehem. It's the city where Jesus was born. On Easter, we all get together in front of the Church of the Nativity. And sometimes I even get to sing there with my choir. For centuries, Christian pilgrims have traced the footsteps of Jesus, from his birth in Bethlehem to his death in Jerusalem. They follow the River Jordan, where many believe he was baptized, until it meets the Sea of Galilee. He began his ministry in the village of Capernaum and taught in its synagogue. On these shores, Christians believe he gave some of his most famous sermons and found disciples among the local fishermen. 